So the first thing we're going to do is apply our MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. We're going to apply that all over the lid and then up to the brow. Next we're going to apply a piece of tape. You could apply this at whatever angle you think suits your eye shape the best. For me that's going just about outwards. Then I'm going to start with the shade Divinity and I'm going to apply that as my brow bound highlight and pull it down about halfway into the crease. Next, we're going to take the shade Almond Truffle on a fluffy yet still dense crease brush and I'm going to start working that right on the outer corner hugging up against that tape, then I'm going to pull it through into the crease. Then I'm going to go through and blend so that we have no harsh lines and then I'm going to pack on more product and then go in and blend and I am keeping this still quite low into my crease. I don't want this look to go up too high. Next, we're taking the shade Mocha and doing the same thing we did with Almond Truffle, but keeping this even lower and deeper into the crease so we get a lot of depth and dimension with this look. And again, going in and blending in between each layer so that we never have any harsh lines, then packing more of that shade on, but again, still keeping it lower and deep into the crease. Next, to add a lot of depth to the look, I'm going to take the shade Bordeaux and do the same exact thing, keeping this one even deeper than before. And you can see I'm really making that outer corner very winged out while still keeping it very low. So again, packing on the shade, going in and blending it out, and then going on and packing on more will get you the desired depth, but you won't have any weird harsh lines and you won't have a hard time blending it out because you put too much down all at once. Now I'm going in with that shade Earl Grey and I just really loved mixing those warmer shades with this cool shade and I think it just really created this very interesting look and I absolutely love it. I'm going to wear this all the time. So I just started packing this on my lid and then as it was packed onto my lid I pulled it up into the crease and then took that brush from before with no additional product just to blend it out. Now I'm taking my Laura Mercier Cream Liner Noir in a little brush, this is from Real Techniques, and I'm just creating this very soft kind of smudged out wing, and I'm not even bringing that liner barely halfway in. I'm not trying to create, you know, a real defined line, just a very smoky wing. Now I'm going to pull off that tape, and I'm going to go back in with my MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot again, and I'm going to apply that on the lower lash line. Now with the pencil brush, I'm going to go back in with the shade Mocha and I'm going to buff that along my entire lower lash line. Then I'm going to go in with Bordeaux again and I'm just going to apply that to the very outer fourth or outer third of my lower lash line to create lots of depth. Then I'm going to go back in with that fluffy brush from before just to diffuse that shade. Now I'm going in with my MAC Smolder Eye Cool, I'm sorry I didn't get a clip of it, and I'm lining my upper and lower water lines with that, and just lightly on the lower water line. Next I'm going in with these Kiss Lashes in the style Shy, I'm just popping those onto my lash line, and these are one of my all time favorite pairs of lashes, they're so gorgeous and they look amazing with that diffused wing. Now I'm taking my MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara just to blend my natural lashes with the false and then applying this to my lower lashes as well. And that is all for the look. I hope you guys loved it like I do. I am literally obsessed with this and I want to wear it all the time. And if you like looks with this palette, give it a thumbs up and let me know. And let me know which shade you want to see me use next. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!